Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a mouse. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, make two small marks to indicate the circle's length. And then on the sides, make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then just connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having a hard time drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. On the lower left side, make a small mark for the first part of the muzzle. Then just connect the mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the muzzle. The guide for the muzzle should be similar to a wide arc on its side. The overall shape of the head should be similar to an egg. Draw a long sloping line across the entire head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Draw another line near the middle of the head for another construction guide. This second line should be close to the lower left side of the initial circle. On the top right side of the head, draw a small arc as a guide for the first ear. This arc should be similar to an upside down letter U. To the left, draw a thinner arc as a guide for the other ear. Now far off to the right side of the head, make a small mark as a guide for the first part of the body. Pay attention where this small mark is in relation to the head. If you draw it too far off to the right, the body will be too long. Add a small mark at the top and another mark at the bottom to indicate the top and bottom of the body. Then connect the marks using curved lines to create the circular guide for the body. The circle for the body should be almost twice the size as the circle for the head. Below the body, on the left side, draw a short sloping line as a guide for the first front leg. Under the head, draw an even shorter sloping line for the other front leg. Then on the lower right side of the body, draw another short line as a guide for the hind leg. Starting on the right side of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. This line should curve down and to the left. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, above the section where the two construction guides intersect, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. When you get the size and position of the circle right, darken the shape. Draw a couple of curved lines around the circle for the outer section of the eye. These lines should form a pointy tip on the left side for the corner of the eye. Inside the eye, on the top left side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Now shade the eye except for the tiny highlight circle. Use a darker value in the middle of the eye for the pupil. To get a darker value, just push slightly harder on your pencil. Shade the outer section of the eye lightly too. Don't overlap the small highlight circle as you shade the eye. Use the small arc on the top right side of the head as a guide to draw the first ear. Darken the shape of the arc, but stretch the bottom lines farther inside the head. Inside the arc near the top, draw a curved line to give the ear more structure. Draw a series of short strokes along the bottom of the arc for the furry base of the ear. Now use the arc on the left as a guide to draw the other ear the same way. Darken the line for the arc, but make the shape a little bit pointier at the top. At the bottom, draw a series of short strokes for the fur. On the tip of the muzzle, draw a small V-shaped line for the nose. The nose should be on the outer edge of the initial guideline. Add a few strokes on the top of the nose for fur. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the top edges of the guides and connect the nose to the head. Follow the basic path of the lines at the bottom, but make the lower part of the head a bit wider than the guides. 
Use short strokes as you draw the bottom edge of the head for fur. Draw the right side of the head farther to the right than the initial circle. On the tip of the muzzle, draw a few short strokes for the whiskers. Use the short line in the middle as a guide to draw the first front leg. Draw the shape of the leg around the guideline and use short strokes for the fur. The shape of the leg should be very wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. At the end of the leg on the left side, draw a couple of thin curved shapes for the first toes. At the bottom, draw two more toes. The toes at the bottom should be similar in shape to the letter V. Sketch the toes lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Now use the line on the left side as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. Most of this leg will be hidden behind the head, so only draw the toes at the bottom. Draw a thin pointy toe on the right side and then three more thin pointy toes on the left side. Each toe should be similar to the letter V on its side. Now use the short line on the right side as a guide to draw the hind leg. First draw a long curved line that's made up of short strokes for the top part of the leg. Then on the bottom, on the left side, draw a thin pointy shape for the first toe. Below that, draw another thin shape that points to the left for another toe. At the bottom, draw another thin shape that points down for the middle toe. And on the right side, draw two more thin shapes that point to the right for the other two toes. There should be five thin toes that radiate outward from the middle. Now use the big circle on the right side as a guide to draw the rest of the body. Draw a curved line from the ear on the left to the circle to create the top part of the body. Use short strokes near the ear for the fur. Connect the lower right side of the body to the leg using short strokes for the fur. Add a curved line under the head that's made up of short strokes for the front part of the body. And now use the curved line on the right side as a guide to draw the tail. Lightly sketch the shape of the tail around the guideline. Draw the edges of the tail close to the guideline to keep the shape thin. Sketch lightly at first, and when you get the shape right, darken the lines. The bottom tip of the tail should be thin and pointy. Now erase the initial guidelines for a cleaner drawing. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines. It's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. To shade lightly, push very lightly on your pencil and then push harder for darker values. Use strokes that go in the general direction of the fur as you shade. Here the strokes should start at the nose and curve to the right across the body. Use a darker value for the ears, especially inside the ear on the right for shadows. Continue to add darker strokes throughout the body. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Leave the bottom part of the head blank for the white fur. As you shade, separate the strokes a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a more furry texture. Leave the legs and the bottom of the body blank for white fur. Use a medium value to shade the feet and the tail. Add a bit of dark value to the feet for shadows.
Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. This grounds the mouse so that it doesn't appear to be floating. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the mouse. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2 then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time keep drawing.